Sound Cave Studio with your engineer, Alex Wernikowski, director, Brett McGee, and the other guys, Mac and Brandon. Here's your host, Cole Pops. How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? So why don't we uh, introduce ourselves? Start off with Joey. <laughs> I'm Joey. Joey Turner. This I'm is... Shane Cabral, and I play guitar. Cool. What do you play, Joey? I'm the singer. I sing Good stuff. and play guitar. So um, where did the name Go to the West derive from? Um, I guess I kind of thought of it a couple months ago. Um, it seemed it seemed like it fit our style quite a bit. I liked it. I brought it up to Shane's attention. He liked it. We were the only two at the time, I think. So um, there's definitely a name that stays in the head. Like I never forgot it. Like what were those guys called again? Like I was remembered it right away. <laughs> yeah, like I think it fits us pretty well. So how would you guys describe like your sound <clears throat> to someone who hasn't heard one of your songs before? I don't know. Um, well, we all play acoustic guitar. Yeah, me and Joey, and uh, I just consider it acoustic indie. I yeah, guess. a little folk twist. Yeah, every folk. once in a while, it's, it's very appealing. I, I like it. Yeah. It's got a nice warm sound. So, uh, like, uh, you two were the original founding members of the band. I understand. Yes. How did you guys uh, first meet up and decide to start playing music together? Um, we met at a friend's house. Uh, Dean Martin. He was having a party at his house. And um, we were both in the hardcore music scene for a while, and um, we knew that both of our ba- both of the, uh, our bands were breaking up. And he asked what I was doing, and I asked what he was doing. And we both thought that we were well. We both said that we were fooling around with like folk alternative indie yeah, decided music. To change kind of so thing. we kind of decided to jam together, and it worked out really well. Good stuff. What was the name of your bands that you guys were in before uh, before this one? Uh... I was in a couple, but the last one I was in was called Rebuild. Cool. And and uh, I was in From Greater Heights. Yeah, so uh, how it must be interesting trying to go from, like, hardcore metal stuff into this, like, softer acoustic stuff. So, um, like, how how's the songwriting process changed going into this style? It's a little different. It's a lot more easy, easy going because um, there's no, like, crazy amps. When we want to write a song... It's like usually just me and Shane. Yeah. And it's like acoustic guitars, so we can go up to the park or go out in the backyard or, or something a lot. Yeah, get a nice like atmosphere. A lot get more. Yeah. Kind of thing. A lot more relaxed. And um, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, it's different. It's, yeah, and it's like a pain in the ass when you start playing like electric guitar at yeah, like two in the morning when yeah. you get an idea in your head. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Sometimes that's when the best inspiration comes. That's true. Um. So I understand that you guys uh, added a drummer now, like it didn't used to. He didn't used to be in there, Ethan yep. Hibonata, who unfortunately could not be here today, but no, we will uh, keep not. him in our memories. Uh, so how did it help uh, your guys' sound adding Ethan into the mix? Uh, I think Ethan helped out a lot. Um, we definitely needed a percussionist, and uh, Ethan kind of fit fit the hole very well. Um, he brings a lot of uh, good influence to the the sound, I think. Yeah, and he was pretty stoked about it, too. <laughs> yeah, he was very excited. So is it easy to perform uh, live now that you have a drummer? Like, did that help a lot, kind of like maybe making you guys tighter in any way? I think it, it helped us keep on mm-hmm. time, Yeah. Uh, same tempo and stuff like that. Um, and it just gives it more of a, a jam feel than rather than just me and, me and Shane mm-hmm. playing guitar together. So after you guys all formed, you decided to come here to Sound Cave and record a nice yes, uh, five-song EP. Uh, very exciting. So tell me what your experience was like uh, recording here. No, it was awesome. It was they're great guys and yeah, they're great. They made I had it, a fun time. They made it really fun for us and relaxing. Yeah, they had a lot of good ideas. Um, it was kind of like a group effort on the whole on the whole yeah. CD. So it was really nice to have that helping hand um, in producing the music as, as like finished pieces instead of just like the song itself they added a lot of different uh parts yeah definitely it's it, always good to get like a second set of ears yeah, on it, that was re- thing. it was really uh, nice it, they were great to work sounds. with um so i had like the tracking process go you guys come in what's it like taking uh like your first guitar strums into making it a finished <laughs> recorded song it's always kind of rough at first and start off with like some rough ghost tracks yeah and then and then to hear it from like the beginning and then to the end, it's pretty pretty crazy. It's a nice process. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah. It it's totally unfold. different. Like you kind of go into the studio with one idea, how the song you want it to sound, right? Yeah. And then I I probably would have had no idea that the songs would turn out the way they did. Mm-hmm. But I'm a hundred percent like happy with the way the songs sound. They sound awesome. But oh yeah, they sound incredible. I we I didn't really 
see it coming. It was, it was, it was cool. Um, the song, so they, they all got finished recently. You guys just kind of ended up uh, like yeah. finishing this up. So it's just a matter of time before their official release date. You guys are having a, a release date show, right? CD release yep. kind of party. Uh, show next thing. Tuesday. Sounds like fun. August so that's 13th. On August 13th, Casbah. Yep. Upstairs on the Casbah. Um, so, like, what are some of your favorite tracks out of the out of the bunch of these? Uh, I think mine is 1998. 1998. But, like, it switches every, like, so often. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sometimes with the songwriter, I find, like, the new favorite song is always, like, the most recently written yeah. one that kind of ends up happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know, I, I have a special place for all the songs, really, but, um, I really like, um... It's really hard to choose, actually. I like I like Pearl a lot, and I like uh, when you come around, and I also like. Yeah, those are probably my tracks. those are probably my it's top two. It's almost impossible to pick a yeah, favorite. Yeah, it's Hearts uh, is my favorite, of course. Yep. So I will definitely be at your CD release party. Um, so who who are you guys you. playing with here? Like, how's it all gonna like happen that day? Um, well, the first two acts, or the first act, is my brother and his friend. Cool. Matt and James. Matt and James, and they're really good. Nice. Really good. Yeah, they're really cool. We played them with them uh, a couple times at Raleigh Rockets, and are they a similar style to you guys? I wouldn't really. No, they're more more alternative. Okay, yeah. I think. A little bit. They rocky. do some cool covers too. And uh, yeah. second act. Uh, our friend from Fighting Season. It's like a pop punk band, but he cool. does acoustic sets too. Matt O'Connor, and. Uh, yeah, he's really good too. I've we he's open for us multiple times. He's very great. That yeah, sounds like it's good. gonna be a good mix of uh players. So yeah, it's exciting. You've played like a number of places leading up to this and like in Hamilton, you guys <laughs> I understand also had a TV performance on uh CHCH. CHCH morning, that was cool. That must have been kind of an intimidating process going up yeah. on like, with all the cameras and it's, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, pretty um, scary. I so, was like, nervous. How was it playing like live on TV? Uh it was really different because it was like there was like three people watching and all the other people were kind of doing stuff like on computers yeah. or like behind yeah. cameras no and it was like just like attention. uh hey guys it was, it was kind of cool they made it uh, the news anchors I'm not too sure what their names are I can't remember but they were they made they it pretty nice. cool yeah, cool. yeah they, they made it very relaxed good on them um mm -hmm. so you guys are still relatively new kind of like just starting up with this five song EP how has it like been trying to build this band finding your style and then like booking places like how how's the journey been for you guys well um i i put out a, so a cd in january that kind of helped kick it off mm -hmm. um get get like the first couple uh, people listening to it and then this is kind of like the biggest thing we've done i yeah. think this is a huge step for us i think this, this album and all the other stuff that's going on and um, uh, i understand you guys also have a few music videos out now too uh, yep. So, like, tell me what, which songs are those for, and, like, what did you guys do to make a video? Like, where did the ideas come from for it to kind of blend it with the song? Um, Sound of the Water. Uh, we It was shot by one of my friends, Jordan Jancic. Yeah, okay. he's cool. He's awesome. And he we, kinda, we just came up to him with this little storyboard, and it kind of just went with what the song was about. <laughs> Yeah, it pretty much just like runs with the lyrics. Mm. Um, so what's like what's in the video when you're watching it? Like how's uh where's it at? Uh, for most of it, it's in a bar. Okay. Up the street called the Setties, who lets us play there all the time. And they were just cool with you guys, like having a nice little. Film yeah, and, I just yeah. asked asked yeah. the owner. I was like, hey, can I shoot a video in your bar? And he's like, yeah, man, <laughs> totally. I was like, all right, thanks. He loves the kids and their music. Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> he's a great guy. <coughs> And then we have a video for 1998 as well. It's okay, cool. Like the beach session video. It's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, it was like shot the same day, but we just like took a break from shooting and we just kind of yeah. did that. Nice. We were tired of hearing the sound of the water, so we wanted to play mm. something else. <laughs> and uh, you really recently released uh, Fire in Our Hearts recorded here as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, in studio video. So how's it like working with them like on a video now too? Is it kind of like the same process going down? You come in here like, all right, video time. This, this it was a lot different this time. I think yeah. the video process was a little different. Cool. Um, well, because there isn't really a story behind it. It was just kind of us just jamming. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a studio session kind yeah. of. It's really cool. It was a lot easier, like, that's for sure. Yeah. Very relaxed. But yeah, it was it was awesome. And that's cool. Like that that's a great thing to watch while like listening to a song. Sometimes you don't need like crazy like mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like it's great to just watch yeah. the artist play it out. Yeah. Alright, well thanks for coming by for uh Sound Cave Studio Thank sessions. you for having us. Looking forward to the Casbah C D release party on August thirteenth. And good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um wanna give a shout out.
shout out to Ethan, Ibanadia, and your bassist as well. Yes. His name? Matt Fraser. Matt, Matt Fraser. Fraser. So you can come, guys. Watch from home. I like that. <laughs> <laughs>